Today we're going to be storing a 1922 daisy chain. These were used to make butter from cream. Now we'll start to disassemble the full thing. My son's helping me in the videos, you can see that's his little hands, what he likes to help. Can you imagine asking your missus to sit and pump this for about three hours to make you some butter? With the way that um, the world is now, bloody hell, we get a whack around the head, won't we? It's actually quite impressive, the engineering for something that's um, 98 years old. It's uh, pretty well made. These split pins are always a bit of a pain to get out. They're always tight. The uh, paint holds them up. Always a nuisance. Now I'm removing the pins. Obviously trying to, to do as little damage to the piece as possible. Go on, Mama. Every time a little boy's got an hammer in his hand, I'm just waiting for me to get my fingers smashed in. But I got lucky this time. It's all worth it though to teach him a few little, um, a few little skills. Now this case has got loads of small holes in it, which I'm gonna have to weld up, and uh, I'm gonna have to hammer it out, flatten it out. The science behind it is to get it as flat as you can before filler. time to give it a quick wash I like to use thinners and anything that's been painted it, it just takes the paint off just before you go into the powder cut into the um, sandblaster takes the majority of the um, grease and paint off so now we've moved over into the sandblaster I'm using um, shredded glass for this it's not as abrasive as some of the other stuff and it won't do too much damage to the top plate which is quite thin and got holes in it so now we're soldering it up with a brazing rod which is mixed metal so you can solder just about anything with this and you can just use a conventional blowtorch uh, I get them from B&Q they're about six quid for two and you just um, just basically heat the metal up and it's got a lower melting point than steel so it's good for Soldering just about anything, quite easy to use, and it's good for repairs. It's repaired it well. Now we're going over to um, one of the final stages of the prep work, which is just using some car body filler to um, fill in and basically get the shape back of the lid. Just adding some hardener there, um, then mix that together, and then we'll use that put it on um, and try and get the shape back of the lid obviously where the dints are and when I, where I've um, welded it, soldered it to try and make it back to how it was. Uh, just put this on, leave it for roughly about an hour to go hard. It's a bit cold in England at this time of year so it's uh, especially in Yorkshire so we're um, the drying times are a bit slow on the fillers but after an hour we can come back and um, sand it down. It's actually surprising how much work goes into doing such a small project in terms of hours. A small project, this you might have, I don't know, 10, 20 hours in it over the space of a week. And obviously some money in it. Now we're going with a cut of uh, Metal Etch Primer. Dry it off with the hair dryer, which I always use in between coats, just to flash the paint off. Flashing off just means to let the solvent come out of the paint. That's uh, flashed off then we put some filler primer on which fills any of the small pits 
that are left behind after the sanding and uh, filling process. It just saves you putting any more filler in if it's only small, small holes. It's really good stuff. Again, dry it off with the air dryer. It's uh, my secret weapon to get things done a bit quicker. Another thing to remember when you're painting in cold condition is the catalysts which actually make the paint harden and dry, they um, slow down a lot in colder conditions so it's always best to try and keep your area as warm as possible and also it'll speed up your drying times considerably. The filler primer comes out really nice, gives you a nice smooth finish especially if you're working with something that's um, a bit on the rough side. For something that's 100 years old we've got it pretty flat. I haven't been able to keep the exact shape of the lid but I've done uh, got it as best as I can. I always like to go over light base coat, usually a white or a light grey, um, with if ever I'm putting a light coloured paint on top of uh, on top of them. It just saves a lot of coats of the, your top coat. So this is um, an enamel paint, and because of the cold conditions, it's coming out the out the spray can like absolute rubbish. So. It's just a case of putting on some really fine coats and a lot of them. What I'll do is I'll warm the can up in a bucket of hot water and that'll uh, give me a bit of a better fan pattern. We're only one or two degrees above uh, zero in Yorkshire at this time of year so it's uh, it's not helping. As you can see I've uh, put the can of paint in hot water and it's made the spray a lot better. I decided to give these a clean up with a, with a rough file just to make it look a little bit better once I polish it. I'm just going to polish it with a wire wheel. I'm not trying to chrome it, just, just make them look nice, a bit cleaner. So I'm just putting a, I'm going to make a new pin. Uh, that one as you can see is quite bent, the old one. So I'm just turning it down, taking half a mil off at a time, a quarter of a mil. And this is the pin after about an hour's work. Um, it's the same size diameter as the other pin. So I'm just cleaning it up with some sandpaper. And then uh, I just keep going down the sandpapers until I'm on um, wet and dry. And then it um, gives you a shiny finish. Just going to put an hole in each end for the uh, paddle and the lever that turns the actual paddle itself. I've just chucked a couple of the old pins into the lathe, cleaned them all up, a bit of sandpaper and a wire brush, nothing too fancy, just to make them new. Now we're on to, move to cleaning the glass with uh, an abrasive degreaser. Just gives uh, a bit of a shine, makes it look quite new. Right now, I'm going to reassemble everything. I've got some new um, brass pins for the for the top. Give it a nice little look, without having to uh, smash its head in, putting you know new pins in and everything. It's a bit of a better solution, especially. The fact that I'm going to keep this in uh, for decoration, and the fact you can buy a block of butter out of Asda for a pound, so it's not worth churning your own cream, that is for sure. This is the handle and the pin that I cleaned up earlier. We'll uh, we'll replace that, put it back on, put a new washer on the top of it, hammer that down so the handle can't slip off.
Right, I'm putting the paddle back on now and it's it's looking really nice. Remember guys, if you like the video, just give us a comment, like or subscribe, whatever. And remember, for the new year, don't hate, appreciate. Take it easy. Hope you like the video.